Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about this video because a lot of you have been asking for it. I will preface this as I am definitely not a hairstylist. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you the best angles, but I'm going to try uh, to show you how I use my straightener to do my beachy ways with short hair. This one is definitely the easiest way I've found to like get these beach waves. So I am using the GHD Gold Flat Iron. I got it from Sephora. It was just like the one I felt safest getting. I didn't want to damage my newly cut hair, so I just know the reviews are great on it. So I splurge. But you can really use like any flat iron, especially one with like a curved top and bottom because I think that gives you the smoothest curls but let's get going so I usually um, like put my hair up into as high of a bun as I can I basically have I want to say like a third of my hair showing right now and I'm gonna take little strands so what I found is the smaller the strands that you take the nicer the waves look at the end because my hair tends to all clump together and then the waves look weird so this is about how big of a cluster I would get I I am going to curl away from my face so we're gonna go like that and then you basically just turn it until you go down to the ends like that and then you're gonna pull at it just a little bit so it's not like super wavy if it is too wavy like this it's kind of hard because I can't see the mirror then you just kind of go over it with the flat iron until it calms down like that and then you keep going so you can alternate with each strand always go away from the face when you're close to the face and then when you're like away from the face you can go into it so this time I'm going to clamp it this way and then turn it towards my face so for the bottom ones it doesn't matter really like how they look you just really want like a little bit of like a bend to it so I kind of just grab as much hair as I can and then I try to curl it so that it's not like completely straight at the back so the hairs are kind of like that sorry I have like a huge pimple on my face right now so I'm trying to like avoid showing you that side of my face let's just keep going let's see if I can show you the back I am definitely not a pro at filming these things I'm really going blind at the back here because my hairs are so short so now that I'm back at the front of the face I am going to go away from the face and then pull down now we are going to let more hair down I usually kind of just put my fingers through and get like as little hair as possible out because like I said I like to keep these strands as tight as possible so now I just have a little bit there like alternate which way you're turning so that gives you like a little bit of a fuller look because I do have very thin hair or flat hair I guess you can say so hand is facing the camera away from your face and I'm clamping in and facing turning it towards my face and then the ringlet comes into my face like that versus this one is going away from my face so when we brush it out it's going to be a little bit better because they're going to go against each other instead of sometimes if you go too many the same then they're going to overlap on each other i just kind of like try to brush all my hairs frontwards so that i can see which ones are straight still this one i'm turning back and down yeah, remember this is how much hair I get. I don't get any more than that. Otherwise, the waves don't look as beachy as I would like them to. So sometimes when I let go of a curl, it looks like this at the end. So it's a little bit too straight for what I like. So I keep it kind of curled around like this. You can see that's still curled. And I just do another mini pull. And so it ends like that instead of just being like boop you get to like the front of your face and sometimes i have a lot of baby hair so the hair like patch like the hair groups aren't as even but here this one's like really long so i'm gonna split this one in half might be smaller than what you're used to but i promise you the smaller you can go the nicer it looks when it's all brushed out so i'm still gonna go away from my face for both of these but i'm gonna try to make them so that they're a little bit different in terms of angle so i pulled down this one a little bit more so it's not exactly doing the same way that the top one is we're getting there kind of for these back guys i turn away from the face more often than none 
just so that it's going back and not just like all the hairs coming frontwards like that. So rather the hairs turning back and into each other. Let's just check to see if there are any pieces that are too straight at the end. I actually think we're pretty good here. I might flip this guy out a little bit just so that we have a little bit more of a fun wave going. Maybe this guy can flip out at the bottom. So I find that scrunchie worked best for me. I tried the clips before, but my hair always escapes the clips, so. Totally up to you, whatever you want to use. We're basically at the top section of my head, about an inch away from each side. I'm just going to take care of the back end first before I let everything else go. One last back strand. So for these ones, like the one that's like right at the back of where my like hairline will be, I kind of try to go as flat as I can, like right back and then I pull down so that he's kind of going like this. Obviously he's not gonna stay like that, but then you brush it out and he still like comes up a little bit to give you a little bit of volume at the back. And we can let these guys down. It looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> so again, the back, I'm gonna turn towards the back of my head. Okay, with this one I'm gonna do like kind of almost like an S wave. So I start at the very top of my head and then I go under I go out, I go under, go out, go under, go out, and then like that. This wave looks like that, basically. Kind of like you're using a deep waver, and sometimes you can fix it because I screwed this bottom part up. All right, so afterwards, the hair looks like that. It's that classic wave that you can get from a deep waver, but with the flat iron, you can get like a smaller amount and kind of control where the wave goes. So I'm gonna pull on it a little bit. I like it just at the top so that it's not all the same wave. So I usually just have a couple of them, but in the front, I usually go like a regular wave. All right, so I'm just going over these ones just because they look super flat and I didn't curl them enough. So sometimes when the hair bunch is too thick, they don't curl properly. So you have to kind of go through. This one's gonna go away from my face as well but I'm just gonna do it in two sections so that the curls are a little bit nicer. So after you're done, you're gonna kind of zhuzh it and see how they look. This guy, I already know, is kind of bothering me, so I don't, I'm going to have to maybe take this guy because this guy is the one that's really weird. So I just straightened him a little bit at the end. And then this one I might go like that. And that's the beauty of doing your hair with a flat iron because you can go in and really like customize everything. All right, and that's it. That's how I do my hair with a flat iron. I hope that you found that helpful. I love doing the flat iron just because it's super easy to like customize and deal with any like bad spots. If you have any questions, leave them down below. So the hair that I started off with wasn't freshly cleaned hair. For me, I can't, I don't love doing my hair right after I shower because especially with Asian hair, it's super stiff after you wash it, as well, mine at least. And so I like to wait like a day or two and then my hair softens a little bit. There are like more of my hair oils kind of come out and then I do my hair just cause it ends up being a little bit nicer. The texture you can see a little bit more and it bends better. So after I shower, um, I do put this heat protection on because I like to blow dry my hair. So this is the one that I use. It is a thermo seal basically. It leaves a nice thermo seal on your hair so that when you do do it, you're not damaging it. I hope you like the video and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to see me more and I will see you guys next time.